Remember Giftstorm, the deck based around Past and Flames and Gifts and Given? Well, it's back, thanks to Rail Monsoon Mage from Modern Horizons 3. Well, let's go check it out. This video is proudly sponsored by Card Market. Welcome back, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Gift Storm. As I mentioned in the intro, it's the deck based around Past and Flames and Gifts and Given. So Past and Flames is a card that lets you replay instants and sorceries from your graveyard, and Gifts and Given is a card that puts them there. So you search your library for four cards with unique names. Your opponent chooses two that go to the graveyard. You get the other two to your hand. So this is a classic modern deck dating all the way back to, I believe, 2016. And back then, it only had Brawl Chief of Compliance as a legendary creature cost reducer. It also played Goblin Electromancer. Well, recently with Modern Horizons 3, we gained Rail Monsoon Mage, which is an incredible upgrade. Because not only is it an enabler, which means that it reduces the cost of your things like uh, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, and Mana Morphos, it's also the payoff. So the back half is sort of like Mind's Desire. So the idea is that you want to play six instants or sorceries, and then you flip the Rail Monsoon Mage, and then you can minus eight, and then you exile the top eight cards of your deck, and then you can play instants and sorceries from that pile for free. So the idea is that you would hit a Gifts and Given, or a Past in Flames, Empty the Warrens, or things like that. And you might be asking yourself, why would you ever play this over Ruby Storm? Ruby Storm is so popular right now. And if I'm being honest with you, I love it. And I tried to record Gifts from a couple weeks ago, got a little tilted, and then turned off the camera. And the reason why is at the time I was like, why is this deck better than Ruby Storm? I couldn't piece it together in my head. And I went back to the drawing board. And what I found in that league is I was trying to play 12 cantrips. So things like Consider, Opt preordained serum visions those are all cantrips and what i found was that my theory was that cantrips are really good with rail because they allow you to flip but in actuality desperate ritual and pyretic ritual making red mana makes reckless impulse and ren's resolve better so why would i want to play this deck well the answer is spell pierce and remand the interaction that gifts from provides you ends up being a differentiating factor between the two lists and a reason to play blue so that's what we're trying here today because the metagame has become pretty hostile towards ruby storm and ruby storm i think isn't necessarily the best at handling it so we're trying spell pierce and remand to slow the game down and create deterministic wins using gifts and given and past in flames this list is mostly theory based i haven't tried it out yet but i like the idea of green in the sideboard for veil of summer and pick your poison to answer pretty much everything in the format you also have four lightning bolts for things like dranith magistrate so without playing a huge wish board you get to play a real sideboard which is also a differentiating thing from ruby storm and that is the reason we're playing gifts from today i think it could be pretty good i think that this deck might actually be back so let's play some matches and find out if that's actually true i'll see you in the first round if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks that's enough for now let's play some magic around number one we're on the play we're going to reveal our best run gigantha and our opponent also has a gigantha the wellspring okay we will keep so this hand is lacking red mana and a ritual for the gifts and given but i like the fact that we have two brawl in case one ends up being removed so we're going to play breeding pool and just pass so we want to draw a red mana and then a pyretic ritual or something along those lines. Turn one Gilded Goose, we will consider in response. Keep the Thundering Fall. I mean, it's a red mana, but it's one that enters tapped. I think I'm actually going to bin it here. Mana Morphos is perfect because I can actually play it off of the Breeding Pool, and now I don't need an initial red mana. This makes a mana with Baral, so if we find the pyretic ritual, we do have a win. Misty Rainforest, well, I guess we'll thin our deck a little bit here. Let's go grab a Steam Vents. Ouch, I'm all the way down to 15. Play the Brawl Chief of Compliance. 
past the turn. I still think this new animation is a little bit weird on the creatures. Uh, I'm not saying I dislike it, it's just it's taking me a little bit to get used to. They play an Urza Saga, okay. Birthing Ritual. They're going to use the food for another goose. On the end step, they get to Birthing Ritual. They sacrifice a goose. So they get to sacrifice the goose and look at the top seven for a creature with these mana value plus one. So they can get a two drop here. And they grab a Samwise Gamgee. Okay, we need a ritual. We did not draw one. I'm going to Manamorphose here looking for that ritual. We'll make red red. There we go. All right, we'll play the Ottawara Pyretic Ritual. Gifts and given targeting you. You dead. I mean, I shouldn't talk too much, Mac. If they have an Endurance, they're not dead. But that's not good for views. Or me just rambling while I record. Okay, so we're going to do a standard pile here. Which is two Rituals, Manamorphose, Past in Flames. And remember, it has to be different names. So you have to get Pyretic Ritual and Desperate. They give us two Rituals. I will play Pyretic Ritual. Manamorphose. Make blue, blue. Empty the Warrens, okay. Let's flash back the Past in Flames. And our opponent concedes, nice. No Endurance. Okay, so they're playing a deck that gains infinite life. So I don't know how much I love the Empties, but I do like the Lightning Bolts. And I feel like those are a pretty easy swap with the Spell Pierces in this matchup. So we're going to board those out. And the whole idea with this deck list is that it's instant speed. So we're not playing Preordain because these are both instants when you're playing Spell Pierce Veil of Summer, Lightning Bolt, Remand. The first two turns of the game, you're usually holding up mana if you're not playing out a cost-reducing creature. So now the question becomes, do we like Pick Your Poison versus this deck? Do we think that they're going to have something that stops me from winning the game? I don't know, but I also think Remand might be a little bit clunky here. So I'm down to board in at least a couple copies of Pick Your Poison. Let's try this. Game number two, we've opened up a reasonable hand. We will keep this. I do need a second mana. Let's not uh, take that for granted, but I do have a reasonable hand in the matchup. I'm able to disrupt their combo using Lightning Bolts, the infinite life combo with Samwise, that is. And if they have something like a Dranith Magistrate, I have a second bolt just to kill that. All right, so they have the Underworld Cookbook, which means they're probably playing Asmo in their deck. We'll take a draw. Another cost reducer, but we need another land. They discard a land to the Underworld Cookbook to create a food. They play Swamp, and now they can play Asmo. Yep. And they'll go get another copy of the Underworld Cookbook. Sure. Two cards left in their hand. On the end step, I think I'm going to go grab Thundering Falls just to dig for that second land. We can kill the Asmo later. We don't need a ritual right now that can go to the graveyard. No land. All right, we'll play Consider. I could just kill the Asmo, but I want to try to find that land. We're going to bin the Rail Monsoon Mage. No land. Okay, we will discard Grape Shot. They play land number three, two cards in hand. Samwise. So if I bolt the Asmo, they can now return it with the Samwise. And we find the land. I'm going to just bolt the Samwise here. Because there's no point in bolting the Asmo. When they can just get it back. They have one card remaining in hand. The attack I will fetch. Let's grab... I think I want the stomping ground here. Ouch. And we will play lightning bolt. They put Gigantha to their hand. They have three cards total. We draw Scalding Tarn. So I only have three spells. I'm pretty far away from rail at the moment. I'm going to just play out a brawl. Because this might eat a removal spell anyway. They discard a cauldron familiar for a food. And then that comes back. Yep. I am at 12. Prismatic ending on the Baral. Okay, so we now know that they have Gigantha in hand plus one unknown card. I will take one here going to 11. We will fetch. Grab a steam vents. A lightning bolt. Okay. So that's four cards. I think I'm just going to put Gigantha to hand and pass. By passing, it gives me another draw to find a spell to help flip the rail. And if I fail, because our opponent has interaction, I can always just put the Gigantha onto the table. 
birthing ritual. Their last card in hand is the Gigantha. Okay, so now they could sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar and get a two drop. And then Cauldron Familiar can come back when they create a food token. They find Asmo, which is very good for them here. Okay. We drew a land. Hmm. Wondering if I should just try to go for it here. I'm at such a low life total. I would have to draw a spell off the Manamorphose that then draws another card. But I am pretty priced into killing this Asmo, so if I wait, I don't know how much better it's getting. Spell well, fetch down to eight. At any point, they can bring back Cauldron Familiar too to make me lose a life. We'll start with the Lightning Bolt. Play Rail Monsoon Mage. And let's Manamorphose. Rail will trigger. I'll choose Tails. I lost the flip, so I'll take a damage. I'm at seven. We'll do Red Blue. And we found a Brawl. So we are not going to be able to flip this turn. I'll just play Brawl out. Pass. Cauldron Familiar is back. I'm at six life. They play a Gilded Goose. Come on. Well, I guess they get the Birthing Ritual here, but I want to draw like Gifts and Given or Past in Flames. Those would both be amazing hits. They sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar, which makes sense because they want to bring it back and make me lose life. Remorseful Cleric. Well, that was a good one. We find a Consider. We'll play it. Rail will trigger. I won the flip. Yes, I'm going to flip the rail. We'll put the Misty Rainforest to the graveyard. So th this is actually kind of a unique thing to Gift Storm here. Rail cares if you have a blue, uh, when you minus two, a blue permanent to draw a card. So because we're playing Gift Storm, I actually do have a blue permanent here. So we're going to be able to draw a card with the minus ability, which is something that Ruby Storm cannot do. And now we're going to attempt to kill the Remorseful Cleric. They will exile our graveyard. So we only have one grape shot left in the deck, and now Pass and Flames is not a good find. I'll draw a card off the rail. We hit the empty. Okay. That's what we wanted to see. Play Consider. Bin the other Brawl. Lightning Bolt is good. Pyretic Ritual. Desper Ritual. Let's kill the Gilded Goose. And then we can empty the Warrens for 12. Our opponent is going to be able to make a rather large construct token with the Urza Saga. And now we'll pass. Cauldron Familiar is back. I go to five. Okay. And now they can create another construct token if they want to. They are going to make a construct. And they find a third copy of Underworld Cookbook. They play a Gilded Goose from hand. They don't attack. Birthing Ritual so they can sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar. So effectively, I'm at four life here. They find a Samwise. Uh, so, my, is this infinite? I think, no, I guess it's not. Atawara. So I can bounce the Samwise, but they could return a legendary creature in response, which would be the Asmo. I guess it's free to just plus on the rail here. I don't really see a whole lot of a point, or I... I could swing with some number of creatures. I just don't know how good that actually is. So I need to leave at least three back. Probably four in case they have removal. So I can swing for nine. They'll block three. Probably block four. Okay. I mean, I just don't see a winning avenue by playing defense here. So we might as well attack. I wasn't counting the Gilded Goose. My bad. I was only counting things that would die. Pass the turn. Cauldron Familiar comes back. So I guess I actually shortened my clock by attacking like that because I gave them an extra instance of Cauldron Familiar. They discard the Gigantha. Like, how I win this game is drawing Gifts and Given or Past in Flames. Past in Flames isn't a guarantee, but it allows me to empty the Warrens for a lot. They're making four mana to return Asmo to their hand. Sure. And now they can play Asmo. They have no hand here. So if I bounce a food token, they can't do anything, if I'm seeing this correctly. Otherwise, they can kill my Brawl, and I don't want that to happen. So I believe we're supposed to bounce a food token here. Oh, I forgot they get to create a food. That was dumb. I forgot about the Samwise. So they can kill my Brawl anyway. Yep. And now I'm dead to the... I guess the, I had to bounce the Samwise in response to live. 
Because I can block, block, block. I guess I go to one, but now drawing past in flames or Gibson given isn't even very good. So I go to one. Oh, they found another familiar. Okay, I guess I'm dead. Draw was a ritual. I could have minus the rail if the brawl lived and drawn a gifts, but that would have needed the... There's no way that the brawl could have lived there because Asmo had three food, no matter what I did. So brawl was always dying. Let's take the pick your poisons out. I didn't see any reason for those to be in the deck. And let's bring... Let's bring in the remands. Although they didn't really play anything that remand would have been good against. Let's still try it. Maybe I can hit like a birthing ritual or something. Won the die roll, reveal our Gigantha. Game three, match one on the play. We will keep. Play Scalding Tarn past the turn. Overgrown Tomb. Underworld Cookbook. Sure, we'll fetch. Grab a basic and let's play Consider. Bin the Thundering Falls. Manamorphose was a very good draw. Grape Shot. Play Brawl, Chief of Compliance. And they make a food. They discard a land. And now they can probably play Asmo, and they do. So they're going to be able to kill my Brawl. It wouldn't have mattered if I tried to wait a turn to play out the Brawl, because they still have the removal spell here. So, unfortunate. They're down to three cards in hand. Passed in Flames. I believe I'm supposed to cycle Manamorphose. Red, blue. We draw the land. I wonder if it's crazy to just main phase a Gifts and Given. Desperate Ritual. Gifts and Given. We just want mana here. We already have Past in Flames, so we're not going to get a Past in Flames. And let's do a Brawl, because I don't think they're actually going to give me Brawl. So that way they're more likely to give me mana. Okay, and they do. Pass the turn. So next turn I have five mana. You need at least six for Past in Flames. Another cookbook. So they could discard both cards in their hand now to kill a creature. And we draw the rail, which will die to the Asmo. We'll pass, and then on their end step I will Gifts and Given. They swing for three, I'll go to ten. They play an Urza's Saga. And Gigantha to hand. End step, Pyretic Ritual. Gifts and Given. We'll do Pyretic Ritual, Manamorphose, Desper Ritual, Lightning Bolt. I'm choosing Lightning Bolt because it will kill the Asmo and unlock the rail in my hand. And they do give me the bolt. Nice. Okay. Me fetching the second island early on ended up being awkward this entire game, but that's okay. Let's start off with a bolt on the Asmo. Fetch. If they have Endurance, I mean, it's going to be insane here. But I don't think I can actually afford to play around it. We'll play Pyretic Ritual. Play the Rail Monsoon Mage. Vesper Ritual. Choose Tails. Always fails. I lose a life. Past in Flames. We'll choose Tails. We win the flip. No, I don't want to do that yet. Past in Flames. Resolves. Pyretic Ritual. Tails. We lost the flip. We'll lose one. I'm at five. Vesper Ritual. So now we can flip. Whenever wins, we can flip. But it didn't win. Pyretic Ritual, Storm 8. I will now flip my rail. We can minus the rail. Tons of spells in here. We'll Lightning Bolt them. Pyretic Ritual, Manamorphose, make some blue mana. Play a Consider, keep a Lightning Bolt, Bolt them, and Grape Shot for lethal. We won the match! Gift Storm in 2024 winning matches. Can you believe it? All right, four more left to go. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. We are on the play for match number two. I've already revealed my Gigantha. We've opened up a hand with Baral and, you know, that Spell Pierce that I said I was excited to play. Some cantrips. We do have to find the second land. 
but I think that this is a keep. We have Mana Morphos, we have the Gifts and Given. All you really need is mana, which is what this deck has the most of. There's 17 lands, so we have 16 left in our deck. We have eight rituals. I feel confident that this is going to be okay. Island Pass. You don't want to play your Opt or your Consider on your main phase when you have Spell Pierce in your hand. Turn one Thought Seize. Well, that's going to eat a Spell Pierce. Get out of here. None of that's allowed. Okay, we are still looking for land number two. Another Brawl. Let's play Opt. Put that on the bottom. We missed. We will pass the turn. Drawing double cost reducer was not what I wanted to happen. Soren House of Markov. So they're on the Necrodominant stack. We draw another Ritual. Consider we find the land. Keep that. Put it into play. We could theoretically try for a win next turn. Depends on what our opponent does and what we draw. Polluted Delta. I will take one. And they're just going to pass. We will fetch. They have five cards. We'll grab Thundering Falls. Bin the Past in Flames. What a card to surveil away, am I right? Okay. We drew the land. But the question is, are you supposed to go for it when they're holding open three mana and five cards? All right, I just took a look at the deck list. There's Flare of Malice. There's Fatal Push. There's Soul Spike. There's actually a lot of cards here. I believe we're supposed to just play the Brawl and pass. They're fetching for a raucous theater. So maybe this is Rakdos Scam? Not sure yet. Maybe they combine the two decks. They have exiled a soul spike to some sort of cost here. March of Wretched Sorrow on my Brawl. Okay, Brawl is dead. They have three cards remaining. They attack. And now they can transform the Sorin. And I take some damage off the Sorin. We'll go to 12. They have three cards still in their hand. We'll grab a Steam Vents. No need to show them the green splash if I don't have to. Breeding Pool. All right, I'm at 10. Brawl Chief of Compliance. Hieratic Ritual. And they're going to use all the cards in their hand to Soul Spike here. Okay, and they're going to Extort, so I will go to 9. Hieratic Ritual. So I guarantee have uh, Gifts and Given here. I could just cast it and then pass, and then next turn try to rail win. Or I could play rail down to two mana, mana morphos, and then try to flip and kill the Soren. I think I like the rail line. Mana morphos, because this line also, if I draw a ritual, I could the in theory in theory still win. We'll choose heads. I lost the flip. We'll do red, blue, grape shot. Target you for gifts and given. Rail. Choose Tails. I lost the flip. Okay, I'm at seven. We have Past and Flames in the graveyard already. We'll grab Desperate Ritual, Manamorphos, Hieratic Ritual, and I don't know, another Grape Shot? Should I just get a land instead? My only concern is that they're at 30, so winning is actually going to be a little difficult here. But if I get Grape Shot, they pair with Manamorphos. And I think that's actually okay, as long as my rail doesn't die. All right, we'll do this. And they did give me Manamorphos Grape Shot. We will pass the turn. They have one draw here that I'm worried about. Like, they had a hellbent hand. What is the one draw? They make a food token. It's something that costs mana. I don't like that. Four mana. March of Wretched Sorrow. Devastating. They drew a removal spell. That just set us way back. That was an insane draw for them. We drew another rail. Let's Manamorphose. I need to kill the, uh, the Sorin here, I think. Red, red. Drew a land. Tap the land. Play the rail. Okay, rail. Tails. We finally win a flip. Yes. And we're going to deal all three to the Sorin. I think I'm just going to plus the rail here. And then we'll... Grape shot the Soren, and then deal them four. And then next turn, I can plus the rail flashback past and flames into a win. I can't be disrupted by creature removal or discard. We draw and pass the turn. We'll play our land. Black, black, blue. We have to do one red here. Plus the rail. They'll gain three life up to 32. Flashback past and flames. 
Ritual, 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 Manamorphose, we'll make two blue, Consider, we'll surveil away another Past in Flames, we draw a land, play Opt, Empty, can go to the graveyard, we'll Manamorphose, make two blue again, Desperate Ritual, so you cannot do the Remand trick from the graveyard, just so you're aware, that comes up a lot where people seem to think that you can, you cannot. So the trick is that you grape shot and then remand your own grape shot. It does not work. Um, because part of the flashback cost is exiling the card. You cannot return an exiled card from your exile to your hand with remand. It just, that's not how magic works, but people seem to forget that sometimes. Okay. Uh, the last card will be Brawl. I don't know. Play the Brawl. Heretic Ritual. Flashback Past in Flames. And now we can play more Rituals, Manamorphose, okay, and our opponent concedes. Going to game two, we definitely want Veil of Summer. And a lot of the removal is spot removal, so I actually really like Empty here. A tactic that I've done in the past is, if we think our opponent is going to overload on creature removal, take out your creatures. Uh, and then just like beat them in the longer game, like don't give their cards outs. So if they're going to have Fatal Pushes and March of Wretched Sorrows and all these things, just board down on creatures or board them all out and just say, hey, I am the control deck here. Eventually, I will pass some flames into a win. So I'm, I am I think I might even like boarding out the rails and then just bringing in a couple copies of Pick Your Poison to kill Necrodominance or anything else they might have. If we also think that they're going to do that, you could bring in a couple Lightning Bolts and be like, okay, I'll bolt you uh after you necro and then try to win that way i mean maybe bolt isn't crazy let's try this 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 cyborg tactic is one that i catch a lot of flack for if you watch some of my older gifts videos people don't feel comfortable doing it but i think it's actually just fine i've had a lot of success doing it uh it was something i did when i made top i believe it was 16 if not 32 of uh, an invitational for star city games a while back we're on the draw. I mean, you have Veil of Summer Stomping Ground. If you draw a blue source, you have Spell Pierce for Necro Dominance. I'm going to try it. Turn one, tap land. Okay. Scalding Tarn right off the top rope. Looted Delta for a basic swamp. Dothy Voidwalker. We will fetch in response. I'm glad I boarded in Bolt, but maybe I should have brought in all of the Bolts. Grab Thundering Falls. We will put Opt to the Graveyard. Misty, we'll play the Misty and pass. Another tap land. We'll take three down to 16. On their end step, we'll fetch. Grab Breeding Pool. Play a Consider. Keep the empty. So we can empty the horns for eight here. I think I might want to pass though. Because if I pass, I might be able to hold open Veil of Summer or Spell Pierce to make sure that I can counter a Sweeper or something else. Okay, I'll take three down to 12. Soren, House of Markov. Sure. Still four cards in hand. We draw the land. Okay, let's fetch. Grab Island. Heretic Ritual, Storm 1. Manamorphose. Make red, blue. We draw another land. Manamorphose. Red, blue. I guess I could have made red, green. And then burn a Veil of Summer for an extra goblin. But I don't think I'd actually do that anyway. Let's just make 10 goblins here. I do have to worry about the Dothy Voidwalker just racing me. Alright, so the Dothy attacks. I'll go to 8. I do have a couple Lightning Bolts in the deck. Let's play Consider. Gifts and Given. That's a weird one. I think I'm supposed to get... If I keep it, I'm actually dead to 2 attacks and 2 extorts. I'm going to get rid of it. A third Veil of Summer. A little awkward. So let's think about this. I attack. I can't actually race the Soren. So am I supposed to leave one back? Just so that way... Yeah, let's do this. I'll leave one back. Fatal Push. Let's see if they extort first. They do extort. I will Veil of Summer. So they'll block one and take eight. Like a Grape Shot would be a really good draw for us. Um... The Lightning Bolt could still kill Dothy. So they'll swing. I'll go to four. They have five cards in hand. 
And they're passing. Okay. Another land. That's not good. Swing. Another fatal push. Do they extort? They do extort. And fun fact, extort does not target. I cannot Veil of Summer extort. We will Veil of Summer this fatal push, though. Spell Pierce. Okay. Damage. They're at eight. I will Veil of Summer to draw another card. It needs to be an answer to Dothy here. We drew one of the two bolts. Wow. So now we need to not die to the Soren. And now they have Rebirth. Or not dead after all. We can Spell Pierce that. They don't have the mana for the extort. Next turn I can attack them to one, which isn't good enough. So I need to not die to Soren still. Soul Spike. That is going to kill me. Just making sure it's any target. It is. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Ah, oh, brutal. We had Triple Veil of Summer, but we just couldn't answer the Dothy. Let's bring in the Bolts. I'm going to get rid of the Remands. Or is Remand better than Spell Pierce? Like, it might be. Let's try this. We haven't actually seen a Necrodominance yet, which is kind of wild. I'm starting to second guess if it's in their deck, which, I mean, it is. They're playing Soul Spike, but I don't know. I'm sure there's people watching that are probably thinking like, well, if you had played an extra spell and empty the warns, maybe you would have won. And I don't think that's actually realistic based on what happened. But also, I think sometimes people have the, like this revisionist history when they watch a game from afterwards because like the play patterns on the opponent's side could have changed as well. So that's just something to remember when you're watching because I don't think playing a Veil of Summer into the empty was actually a good move if you're someone that thought that. We will keep... Our opponent with a mulligan to five. We'll just play Misty Rainforest and pass. Raucous Theater. Gets rid of an Orborg. I don't want to fetch for the stomping round yet. I realize it might save me life later, but I don't want to tell them that I have Veil of Summer in my hand. We'll play Atawara and pass. Pass and Flames was a good draw. On their end step, we will consider. Keep the Scalding Tarn. And now we will go and get our Surveil Land. Thundering Falls. Keep the Lightning Bolt. Play the Scalding Turn and pass. On their end step, if they don't do anything, we can just Gifts and Given. Okay, they have five cards still. We'll grab the Stomping Ground. Ouch. 16. Play Pyretic Ritual. Gifts and Given. Grab Desperate Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Manamorphose. And Empty the Warrens. They're not going to give me Empty. So they're probably going to give me like Ritual Manamorphose, which I'm okay with. They give me a pair of Rituals. Okay. So we do have to be aware of Force of Despair. And our opponent has kept open three mana this entire game. They saw Spell Pierce last game. So I think that we should play this a little bit more slowly. I'm just going to put Gigantha to my hand and pass. The Surgical Empty. Well, I'm glad I didn't go for it. That could have been very bad. So we still have two Grape Shot in order to win the game. And then our four Lightning Bolt. Cling to Dust 2. Okay, sure. Damping Sphere. Yeah, and I boarded... I did not side and pick your poison. So that is really bad. They had a good hand. So how we win this game and now is Gigantha plus Lightning Bolts. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. Could use a land here. Manamorphose. Let's cycle the Manamorphose. Red, green. Uh, I guess I'll play an opt. Put the grape shot on the bottom. We draw another Veil of Summer. We will have to pass here. I do have one more Ottawara in the deck. That is an option to bounce the Damping Sphere. Marsh Flats. And that's a Necrodominance. Let's see how much life they pay. Just three. Okay. You draw another Veil of Summer. I think we're supposed to just go to clean up. Discard Desperate Ritual. Thought sees I will cast a Veil of Summer. We draw another Ritual that doesn't really help us much. Necrodominance triggers. They pay three more. They discard Swamp. We draw Manamorphose. Let's cycle Manamorphose. Blue, red. Find the land and we'll pass. They play land number six. Necrodominance triggers. They draw one card. Okay. We'll fetch. Grab the breeding pool. Gifts and given. I think I'm actually just going to pass here. I could play the Gigantha, but when I play out the Gigantha, I want to be able to Veil of Summer. We'll discard Pyretic Ritual. Necrodominance. 
We draw three this time. They're at nine. On the end step, gifts and given targeting you. Scalding Tarn, Misty Rainforest, Steam Vents, Remand. Technically, I only have one fetchable here, but they don't know that. Okay. They discard three cards. We draw another bolt. We'll play the Scalding Tarn and go to cleanup. Actually, hold on. Should I bolt now? Let's fetch. I go to 13. Oh, I do have two fetchables. All right, well, great. Oh, no, that's right, because I had Island plus Steam Vents. That's correct. I even thought that when I was fetching, and I just forgot. We'll bolt now. They go to six. They play Soren House of Markov. What a ride. Bogart Trawler. And this is Target Player, so I will Veil of Summer here. Necro Dominance. Do they pay any life? They do not. End step. Let's bolt them. Cost two. All right, so I believe I have the win. Uh, unless they have Surgical, I can just pass some flames in a bolt. They seem to be F6. Red. Cast in Flames. Wow, take that Damping Sphere. What up? We are now 2-0. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Another die roll one. It's the third match we're on the play. I will keep Misty Rainforest past the turn. Arid Mesa. Okay. We will fetch. Grab a Thundering Falls. I think I want to keep the ritual. I know that we need a cost reducer, but if I find one, having the ritual is very valuable. So we'll just play the Scalding Turn and pass. Also, by keeping the Desperate Ritual, I'm not giving information to our opponent on what we're playing. Elegant Parlor gets rid of Marsh Flats. I'm not really sure what they're on. It could be like Boros Energy. Concealed Courtyard. Okay, it is looking like Boros Energy. I guess Mardu Energy based on what we're seeing here, but you get the idea. Alright, we'll grab a Steam Vents. And consider. Get rid of that Steam Vents. Brawl, the one who complies. All right, gifts and given off the top rope. Or land number five. Okay. We'll play the Misty and pass. They're now attacking for three. Sure. Sacred Foundry. Seven cards still in hand. They pass. We'll fetch. Down to 14. Grab a Breeding Pool. Try to throw them off the scent a little bit here by showing them a third color. Remand is good. Play the island, pass the turn. Orcish Bowmasters. I will allow it. So now they're attacking for six, so I would go to seven. Okay, please don't burn me out. Plan number four. Ranger Captain of Eos. Oh, I'm so dumb, I could have remanded that. Ah. Uh, in my head I was like, oh, I just have the Ottawara. I don't care about that. But I have remand. I don't know what I was thinking. On the end step... We will Ottawara the Ranger Captain. Okay, we need to win. Another Ottawara. Okay, well, let's start off with the Brawl. Desperate Ritual. We will remand the Fatal Push. The problem is that the Bowmaster is in play is going to kill our Brawl. Oh, they're targeting me. Okay. And now we get to draw off the Brawl. Yes. Discard. Wow, we ripped the gifts? No way. Can I play this as a land? I can. Well, Manamorphose. Blue, red. They target me again, sure. Manamorphose. Red, blue. I go to four. Gifts and given targeting you. Main deck Ranger of Eos, huh? I feel like you kind of deserve this loss. I don't feel bad for you. Fast in Flames. It looks like my hindsight error of not remanding the Ranger Captain ended up being the correct play. But I think you were probably still supposed to remand there. It all worked out, but it probably shouldn't have. Accidentally making the right play is kind of my thing. We'll play Pyretic Ritual. I mean, I don't see a punish here for playing the Manamorphose. I'm at three. 
blue, red, red. They should have killed the Brawl a long time ago, but they're so focused on targeting me. Flashback past in flames. Ritual, ritual, ritual. Gifts and given targeting them. And now we do grape shot. Two rituals and past in flames. Pyretic ritual. Past in flames. Play a couple more rituals. I guess just for the storm 20, we'll flashback the past in flames. And then our opponent concedes. All right. I know we didn't need to do 20, but 20 is just such a nice number. All right. We'll bring in lightning bolt. Get rid of the spell pierces. Not the right matchup for those. I think we want to leave the remands. I could be wrong. And I think we want some number of pick your poison. We did see fatal push. I could bring in veil of summer if that's something we're interested in. I'm not sure if it is, but I could bring in veil of summer in case they have um, thought sees. It does shut off bowmasters. It's an option. Another thing is like we could just side out a couple cantrips. Like, I think I want at least three pick your poison. I just don't know if I want Veil of Summer. I, I might be interested in two empties, though, to be Graveyard Hate. But also something like a, um, what is it called? Dranith Magistrate. Let's try this. Reveal our Jagantha. We will keep Concealed Courtyard. And they do have Thoughtseize. So game three, if there is one, I will want Veil of Summer. They take my grape shot. That's interesting. Manamorphose. We'll play Scalding Turn and Pass. Godless Shrine. Disruptor Flute. Okay, so they're probably going to name Rail here. We'll grab the Thundering Falls. Keep that. And they do, in fact, name Rail. So I believe Rail will now cost five. Play Stomping Ground. Pass the turn. And I guess the back half of Rail doesn't count. So it would, I would still be able to ultimate the rail if I did pay five. Because the front and back half have different names. They surveil away a guide of souls and Dranith Magistrate. Yep. I did board in four copies of Lightning Bolt. There's a reason they took the grape shot. Heretic Ritual. Well, let's put Jagantha to my hand. This might be a game where we're interested in accelerating out a big Jagantha. They fetch Ranger Captain of Eos. Okay, fix up an Ocelot Pride. I would love a Lightning Bolt. Grape Shot. Let's try a Manamorphose. Red, blue. Let's try another Manamorphose. Red, blue. Drawing the Grape Shot was not bad. Okay, so we can kill the Ranger Captain, and then next turn empty. Let's kill the Ranger Captain. They have two cards remaining in their hand. Another Ocelot Pride. They play a land. Sure. The Ocelot Pride makes tokens on the end step, so they don't have any tokens. Wait, hold on. Oh, it creates them and then copies them. So now they can actually fight my empty, so maybe that's not even the best line here. Um, I thought it only copied existing tokens. Oh, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Whew. I went to go zoom in on the Ocelot Pride, and I accidentally clicked one. Let's consider. I like Baral here. Play the Brawl. Is your last card a removal spell? I hope not. They fetch with Marsh Flats. They grab a Shadowy Backstreet. Surveil away Basic Plains. Static Prison. That was the downside of playing it out early. We're going to get hit for a lot here. I do have Pick Your Poison to sacrifice enchantments. Their last card was a Phalage. So they did have double removal anyway. Okay, let's see it. Lightning Bolt. So that could shut off the Dranith, but it's kind of late for that. I'm at four. We'll kill the Dranith. I don't even know if I can make enough blockers to live here. One, two, three, four, eight, plus six is 14. So I can go ritual, 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 empty for 10. And I believe I'm still dead. And I can't play the rail because of the Disruptor Flute. Okay, next game. They had one Thoughtseize, so now I'm like, so they have Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, and Bowmasters. Is that enough for Veil of Summer? I'm also thinking that maybe multiple empties isn't what I want. One Veil of Summer seems a little foolish to me, but I could be wrong. Should I just leave two empties on the play? Because if I get like a fast rail hand, I could empty for like 10 on turn two. 
I don't think I want the remands, that's for sure. All right, we'll try two Veil of Summers and the two empties. Let's try this. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, we've opened up a stinker. We have to send this back. This hand is good. Keep. Get rid of Steam Vents. Our opponent has also taken a mulligan. I'd love to find, like, another ritual with the Surveil. We'll keep a consider. Blood Crypt. And they have the turn one thought sees. Goodbye empty. We'll play the island and pass. Damping Sphere, that's unfortunate. We'll play consider. Get rid of the island. Gifts and given. So I have three pick your poison. We'll play another consider. Keep the brawl. Pass the turn. Sanctifier and Vec. Their list is very hateful. Three cards remaining in hand. Pass and Flames was by far the worst draw on the deck there. Play a Baral. If they have removal at this point, I can't afford to play around it, so let's just try to do what we can. Ranger Captain. Picks up a Guide of Souls. We find Empty. Should I just kill it now? We'll kill the Ranger Captain. Yep. They're at 13. So if I can find a Pick Your Poison, Empty the Warrens could actually get the job done, based on what I know. But I have to find a Pick Your Poison. We have three of them in our deck. And they have a Static Prison. I don't love that. Guide of Souls. And now they get to make an extra energy. Right? No, it's whenever another creature enters. They have one card in hand. Grape Shot. I have to pass. I can't Mana Morphose into Grape Shot to kill the Guide of Souls because I don't have the mana to pay the tax on the Grape Shot. They fetch out an Elegant Parlor. Static Prison, they have to pay an energy. A Johnny. And now they have all the energy in the world. They swing. They put a counter on their thing. What? Uh, Static Prison's going to die. Unless they play another creature here. They're going to Galvanic Discharge their own creature for energy. Okay. We'll draw for turn. We found Pick Your Poison. So I have to Mana Morphose just to make green mana. And then each player, or each opponent sacrifices an artifact. So this will get rid of Damping Sphere for next turn. Play the Ottawara. Pass. Unfortunately, between the Static Prison removing the Brawl and the Sanctifier end back, I don't know if that's enough for us to come back here. They attack. I take seven. Unless they're going to pump, then it'll be eight. Looks like it's eight. Empty the Warrens is not going to be good enough as a chump blocking method here. Their creatures now have flying. Veil of Summer. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have been better as Remand here, that's for sure. We just floundered this game. Uh, it was not good, and uh, yeah, we got we picked up our first loss. We're now 2-1. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Another die roll one. It's match number four. We're on the play, and I will keep. We'll lead off on the Scalding Tarn and pass the turn. So these are the sort of hands that you get to leverage the strength of the Spell Pierce Remand option. I don't know if our opponent's playing a matchup where it will be relevant, but hopefully it will be. Turn one, Flooded Strand. For a Watery Grave. Preordain is fine. They kept one card on top and put one on the bottom. We'll use the Scalding Tarn. We'll go grab our Thundering Falls. Keep the Opt. Play the Island. Pass the turn. Prismatic Vista. I'm not really sure what they're playing yet. We'll cast an Opt. Keep land number three. Play another Opt. Keep the Manamorphose. Okay, we're just playing the control game. They fetch with a Prismatic Vista. Orcish Bowmasters. I'm going to fetch in response. Steam Vents, ouch. We'll play a Consider. Get rid of the Opt. And let's remand the Bowmasters. Okay. Sunken Ruins. Rail Monsoon Mage. I wish that they would have tapped out. Let's try a Pyretic Ritual. Play the Rail. Three mana. For an Archmage's Charm. We will Spell Pierce. Rail Monsoon Mage. And now Desperate Ritual. We'll choose Tails. No, I don't want to flip. So, we, so far this game we've played three instants and sorceries. 
Metamorphose will be number four. We'll choose Tails. Lost the flip, that's okay. Red, red. Another Metamorphose. We'll play another one. So this is number five. I lost the flip. Red, blue. Player land. Let's fetch. Grab a basic. Metamorphose. So now we'd be able to flip the rail. Tails. I lost the flip. Red, red. We're all Chief of Compliance, we'll play that. Past in Flames. Spell number 10. We'll choose Tails. And our opponent just concedes. Nice. Love that. We want Veil of Summer. And I think we want the Empty Plan. There's a lot of cards I like in this matchup. I think I'm... I don't know. Let's try boarding out Opt if we're going to bring in Veil of Summer. I think that's a pretty easy swap. So the next question becomes... What do you do for the extra empties? I think I want to shave one Past in Flames and one Gifts and Given and try this. I'm aware that I'm not bringing in a answer to Damping Sphere, but we have two Ottawaras, and you can't guarantee that your opponent has those in these style of matchups, and I don't actually like Pick Your Poison in this matchup. We'll try it. I'm a little worried that this might not be good enough against the Orcish Bowmasters deck, but we'll see how it goes. Spell Pierce... Our opponent uses a Flooded Strand. Under City Sewers, they kept the card. They play an Island. I will fetch. Grab Thundering Falls. Keep land number three. We definitely want that. Here's the Bullmasters, which, you know, good against Empty. That said, at least they're not pinging an Empty token. I think that's actually, you know, a fair trade-off. And I'm going to just be patient here. I think I, what I want to do this game, if it works, is I want to grape shot their board and then empty. So that way I don't care about giving them a slightly larger orc army. They swing for two, I'll go to 16. We'll fetch. They still have five cards in hand. We'll grab Stomping Ground. Another Ritual. We'll just pass. So the play I want to make costs six mana. We only have five right now. They pick up another Undercity Sewers. They attack for 2, I'll go to 13. They play Sink into Stupor as a land, going to 15 life. We'll grab another Breeding Pool. Let's see if we can draw the mana here. Veil of Summer. Okay, um, let's try a Pyretic Ritual. Let's try another Pyretic Ritual. Manamorphose. Green, blue. And with this on the stack... Let's try to draw out a counter spell. We'll play Veil of Summer. We have not played a land yet, so I could spell pierce, but they could just pay for the spell pierce. So I don't think I want to do that play. We'll let the drawn in the lock happen. Their board masters will deal me one, and their orc army will get a little bit bigger. We'll fetch down to ten. Grab an island. I guess I could have beaten a fluster storm if I spelled pierce the drawn in the lock. That's the the downside here is if they have Fluster, I get blown out. I didn't even think about that until after it had resolved. So if I lose the Fluster Storm, it's my own fault. Looks like they don't have it. But I should have Spell Pierce. That would have been the correct move. Spell Pierce is good to have in hand in case they have a Sweeper that, you know, I can counter. But I think they're more likely to have Fluster Storm, and they just didn't. Land number five. Four cards in hand. Murktide Regent as a 4-4. Okay. Let's swing. Interesting. They didn't block with the Orc Army, or with the Bowmasters, which means they might be trying to race me here. Let's attempt a Desperate Ritual. I hope they try to respond, because then I can Grape Shot for more. Spell Snare. If I spell Pierce, my Storm goes up to 4, but do I even need 4? I think Grape Shot just... Killing their board is probably good enough. Grape shot. And our opponent concedes the match. Boom. 3-1. With card order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? The final match. We're on the draw in the 5th round. I'm going to keep this. We do need another land, but we're on the draw. We have the Surveil off of 
the Thundering Falls. We have a Consider. And it looks like we're facing Eldrazi. Not a matchup you actually want to face. Okay. This is a deck that is main deck Trinisphere. So having the Spell Pierce is pretty good. Cavern of Souls. Okay. Eldrazi Linebreaker. Yep. So they're going to swing for four. I'll go to 16. Cannot remand that either. So, I mean, I only have one mana here. But holding open remand for Eldrazi don't work anymore. If you want to hold it open for specifically Trinisphere, that's fine. Get rid of the opt. We don't have time for that. Consider, we'll just play Lango. And then we consider twice on their end step if they don't play Trinisphere. Or Chalice of the Void. Ugin's Labyrinth. That's scary. Five mana. For a reality smasher that can't be countered. I'm in so much trouble here. Ay ay ay. What a draw. So I'm taking 10. I mean, we need like perfect draw steps here. So I need two perfect draws off consider plus a perfect draw. So three runners in a row. And step will consider. A land is something I need, but I think we're more likely to draw a land. So we should get rid of this. Manamorphose was good. We'll consider again. Get rid of the spell peers. Uh oh. Draw. So now I need like an insane draw off Manamorphose. Play Brawl. Desperate Ritual. Desperate Ritual Results. We'll play Manamorphose. Make Blue Blue. Okay. Um, I think we're just dead. I could remand my own Brawl, but like, is that really a winning line? So we'll put Brawl on the stack. And now I'll remand it. I don't I can't think of two draws to get me out of this. It had to be like ritual empty, and that's just a buy time play. And we didn't have anything. So we're dead. Okay, well that was brutal. That hurt. I think we do we want the empties? I don't even know if we do. Is it crazy to just resubmit? I feel like answering Trinisphere after it resolves with pick your poison isn't what you want. I guess you could try another empty and hope that you can somehow race them versus their creatures with haste and trample, which seems unrealistic. You could bring in Bolt for like Eldrazi Linebreakers and stuff, but it's not big enough to kill Thought Not Seer or Reality Smasher. I'm going to resubmit. It might be wrong. On the play for game two. I guess we keep this? Like, we really need to hit that other land. Play Island, pass the turn. Eldrazi Temple, into Mimic. And step will play an opt. Put the gifts and given on the bottom. Not a land. Come on, deck pretty please. A. Alright, we're going to play out our rail. Grab a steam vents. Rail monsoon mage. Pass the turn. So we need it to live. So no dismembers, nothing like that. They name Eldrazi. Chalice of the Void on one. That's okay. Heretic Ritual. Choose Tails. I don't want to flip. Gifts and given targeting you. Spell number two. Choose tails. We win the flip. No. We already have past in flames, so let's do desperate ritual. Pyretic ritual. Manamorphose. And I could do a land, but the problem with doing land is that it doesn't if they give me manamorphose land, I can't actually play the past in flames. I mean they could give me empty. But if they give me Manamorphose empty, I can't play it. I think I'm actually supposed to grab a land here. Okay, so let's Manamorphose. Tails, I won the flip. No. Do red, red. We draw another rail. So Grape Shot would be four. Let's target them with Grape Shot. And then I'm going to remand the Grape Shot. This would be spell number five. Lose the flip. Remand. Draws another Grape Shot. Choose Tails on the rail. Lost the flip. So now I'll kill the Eldrazi Mimic and the rest at them. And I get one chance to flip my rail here. Oh no, I didn't draw Grape Shot. Grape Shot was returned off the remand. I misspoke. Okay, deck. Or I guess really okay rail. Don't fail me here. Tails. We win the flip. Yes. So I can minus the rail, but I'd have to hit... I have... Five rituals in my deck. Or I can just pass the turn and try next turn. The problem is if they have the Eldrazi with haste, it really bites me in the butt. I have five rituals, three mana morphos that are good hits. If they have Reality Smasher or the Linebreaker, it just wrecks me. 
but if I miss, I definitely lose the game. Or one ritual plus the other past in flames could do it. But I mean, what are the odds of hitting that? It's the coward's move, but I kind of think I'm supposed to just plus and pass. Okay. Our opponent just concedes. Phew. All right. I will resubmit. No cyborg changes. This is a matchup where playing Flame of Honor would be good. And the video I tried to record a couple weeks ago had it in there. But I felt like it was pretty consistently the worst card in the deck. It was really tough to cast on rail turns. I understand that I'm playing eight wizards, but it just never actually seemed good in any single place that I was playing it. So I just decided to cut it for this video. Um, I don't think it's like wrong to play it, but I also don't think it's very good. We will try this. Turn one, Aldrazi Temple. It the Heralds. We draw Opt. We'll play Scalding Turn and Pass. Secluded Courtyard. And it looks like they have the Line Breaker here. Yeah. We'll fetch and just play a Cantrip. Island. Consider. Get rid of the land. Roll number three is not what we wanted. That's for sure. We are in trouble. We're taking 8 here down to 11. I could be dead on their next turn. If they have Reality Smasher, I believe I'm dead. We draw a Rail. Due to them putting me at a low, a low life total, I don't think I'm supposed to play the Rail. Okay. Eldrazi Mimic. Hit the Heralds. Yeah, I think I'm just dead here. Wow. What a draw. So I go to 1. I, I But it doesn't matter because I don't have anything to do. They came with the beatdown. They got me. All right. So really fast clock. Uh, we went three and two. Not a bad record for Gift Storm, but we were striving for better. I liked the deck list. I thought the spell pierces and the remands felt pretty good. I didn't really want Wish at all. I know that's a card that people like to play because it gives you this toolbox sideboard. But having a real sideboard felt pretty good this league to me. Um... I do think there's like an inherent weakness to Gift Storm in the fact that you're relying on creatures. You're choosing to not play Ruby Medallion because it doesn't reduce Gifts and Given or Remand. That said, I thought the list was pretty good. I don't know how you'd improve it from here because I do think this list is pretty good and that, that you just have to accept some losses when you choose to play Gift Storm. So that's what I've got for you today. Let me know what you think of the deck list in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate you watching, and as always, keep storming. See ya! If you enjoyed today's video, you might also like the Eternal Glory podcast featuring myself, Brent Cook, alongside Bosch and Roll, Brian Koval, and Thraben Yu, Phil Gallagher, as we discuss legacy concepts, theory, strategies, and so much more. We're available on all major podcast platforms, as well as YouTube. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.